<clears throat> hey guys, okay. So I'm gonna do a real quick tutorial for you guys on how to get the in-game overlay for Discord to work with iRacing. Uh, this includes a few use triple monitors because I know that some people have had issues with it working with triple monitors. So it's pretty simple. Pull up iRacing or er, Discord real quick. We're gonna go to our settings. Come over here to game activity. No game detected. So not seeing your game, add it. Type in iRacing. Add game. Overlay off. So we're gonna to toggle. Then we're gonna close this. Come back to settings. Overlay. Make sure in-game overlay is checked. And set a hotkey to toggle the overlay lock. That's really important. And then display names only when speaking. Display users. Um, I set mine to always, but that's up to you. And then you can pick a corner to put it in. If you're running on triples, it'll put it on your far left monitor and you'll have to drag it over. And make sure show text chat notifications is turned off. I'm going to close that. And then I'm going to drag this back over to my other screen because I don't need it now. I'm going to join a voice channel. Okay, now I am in iRacing. And you can actually see my name popping up. Now I'm going to hit that hotkey that I assigned earlier, which for me is Control X. And this pops up. So. I can move this anywhere within the game on any screen. And which I'm just gonna leave it over here. This is actually the voice chat overlay. Now when there's a bunch of people, it'll be a long list. So you gotta keep in mind, it's probably gonna be 15, 20 names here. So the best place to put it's gonna probably gonna be over here on the left or over on the right, somewhere kind of out of the way, like so. And then when you're done, you can uh, pin it or whatever you need to do. And then you're going to hit your hotkey again, and it stays up there. Now, with my settings, I have it set to show users always, but only show their name when they talk. So that means whenever uh, when they're not talking, it'll just show their little icon. And when they talk, it'll actually light up and show their name. And they'll all be in a list there on that left side of the screen. So this might help with identifying who's talking during a race, because I know we had issues at Daytona where people were having trouble identifying who was making certain callouts and whatnot. And this should help solve some of those issues. Yeah, anyways, that's it.